just got this in the mail today. I hope it is my new engine. Uh, let's see here. This is supposed to be a um, a Zelda A um yeah that's proper English. It's supposed to be a Zelda 80 motor, which is supposed to be like the cream of the crop. All right, so I just got it open, and we're going to take the top off. Whoop! Instructions fell. We don't need that. Ah, and there it is, ready for me to modify. I got a new head, clutch, casings, a uh, new rod. I mean, it's. I got a boost kit, carburetor, exhaust. I mean, just I got a whole. Look at this. See what I'm saying? I got a whole thing of spare, or of, uh, I'm sorry, of new parts. Like this is the new carburetor I'm gonna put in, and then this is the new exhaust, and you know, and we got other stuff. So yeah, it's a work in progress. So one of my long-awaited items has finally showed up, and I thought I would just show it to you guys real fast. Uh, there's the bottle, uh, cable line, there's the manifold, and then you have a carburetor in there, which I don't know if I can get out with one hand because I'm trying to hold the camera. But basically what this, what this system is, it's a boost bottle system. It will allow me to increase the compression and the boost in the actual in the uh, in the bike. So I'm going to figure out where to attach this bottle at. I do know that it needs to be above the uh, combustion chamber of the motor. So yeah, this is uh, uh, an expansion boost bottle kit that I just got. So I'm really excited and we're going to continue working on the bike. Uh, a lot of progress has been made even though it doesn't really look like it uh, but you know I'm trying to get every detail perfect so that way I have no issues later down the road but yeah boost bottle system really cool you guys ever buy these kits um, I cannot stress the importance of having to tear down the motor to put it back together the right way and I'll give you an example of one of the things you'll be checking for I am not even exaggerating I didn't even look at this I was just unscrewing this screw and I just so happened to look at this nut this is the nut that goes over the actual spinning I guess magnet or the amateur or whatever you want to call it this part right here that actually spins inside of the magneto look at this Look how loose that bolt is. Look, I can spin it with a, my pinky finger. Are you serious? Like, that? it wasn't even tightened. It was that incredibly loose. So, good example of why you need to take these motors apart and check them. Um, also, you know, the heads aren't torqued down evenly. One's looser than the other. That's something you have to check. Uh, for instance, like I was looking at this back here. And when I started to turn the nut, look, look at this. When I start to turn the nut, I realized that I wasn't actually turning the nut, but the thread itself was coming out of the block. So if you just keep turning it, the nut should come off of the thread, not the thread come out of the block. You see what I'm saying? So it, there's just all kinds of little things that you have to check and double check. And that is the reason why... I got a brand new thing of blue Loctite for this exact reason. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and continue and I'm going to take out the magneto and then I'm going to tighten that nut down. And yet another issue I found guys is, look at this stuff, it's just, it's part of the the brake pad, you see it, it's just like loosely laying around in it see it there's some right there and there's some right here inside you know it's crazy and then look I took the head off I don't know if you guys can see but the ports inside are so rough 
I'm going to have to fully disassemble this motor so I can get inside of there and clean those ports out, shave them down because they are so rough and just they're horrible looking. So yeah, we're going to continue on going where we're going with it. Alright, so I went ahead and went way deeper into it and I found that my crankshaft is my actual rod in it. At first I thought it was all rusted, but then I realized that it was made out of like copper or bronze. But it says right there, Zell, can y'all see it? ZMN80. So it is a Zella 80 motor or a Z Zeta made something 80 motor. It's a good good made motor, but I pulled the uh, the head off of it, right? And I was looking down inside of the block, and I found like these rough spots. Can y'all see them down in there, right there? They're, I guess, when they went to mill this, they just left whatever whatever pieces that didn't get missed. I mean, like right there, you can see it, like that right there I'm gonna have to go back in and, and file it down so because what's gonna happen is is that's gonna break off inside the motor and it's gonna be a little piece Look, this is a brand new head and it already has a bunch of scratches in it brand new piston and already has scratches on it and uh, I don't know I mean the side walls of it look okay but we'll uh, we'll give it a good bath and we'll take care of it and we'll have to reassemble it but I'm going to put this thing together right and put it together correctly and hopefully we won't, won't have any problems but we will have a strong riding mower or a uh, mower ha huh. bicycle you all know what I meant okay let's keep going alright so I got the gas tank removed uh, this is the old the original gas tank we had on uh, the reason why I had to get a new one is because of rust well this is the new gas tank that arrived and I don't know if you guys can see it but it is plagued with rust I just don't know how well the camera is going to get it can y'all can you see the rust that is inside of this thing it's it's unbelievable like this actually has more rust in it than the other one does I mean you can you can kind of see it right there up against the back wall when the light hits it just right but yes it is completely covered look at all the rust in that see it see all the rust it's everywhere I go and look I find like a rust spot or a whole area of rust see all that rust in there right look at all of it in there yeah so this is my new tank it's garbage well, anyway, so I had to get a third tank, and this tank is nice and clean inside. No rust anywhere except for right there where they weld it, but it's all good. There's no rust in it. I just got done washing it out with alcohol. This is the original fuel filter. Look at all the shit stuck on it. See all the trash and everything that's on the fuel filter? It's, it's crap, so we're going to... We're going to replace this whole thing with a new assembly. I'm replacing the gas tank. Might as well replace the fuel filter and everything else. So, yeah. Alright. So, I have this part right here. This is my new style of drive. What it does is it clamps to the inside of the hub like that. And then this clamps to that. So, it, that's how it drives. But, the problem is, is that this area right here, this diameter is too big so I had to go and get these adapters that go around the hub and fit inside of this to you know fill up the distance we went ahead and put the heat wrap on the exhaust pipe so it doesn't burn my legs because of the way the exhaust is um, I'm gonna go ahead and hook the chain and the clutch up I went ahead and start uh, pulling some parts out of it and stuff to get that going Although I am really excited because check this out guys. This is the new aluminum head that is to go on the Moda. So it would look, you know, like that. And I am very excited guys. This is vlog series number 5 I believe. We are dealing with the upgrade of it. We added 
$350 worth of upgrades easily to this kit and I'm really excited so this is going to be technically this is the vlog series number five but this is the new vlog series because now we're dealing with an upgraded beast and I have literally went from every inch of this bike and did it to perfection I've made sure that there was no mistakes in this at all and I've been waiting a month for this little baby to show up so ugh, set that there so yeah that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna continue on with it uh, I gotta pull that tire off get the chain on put the head on get the compression set right assemble the bike and we'll be good to go so yeah so you guys make sure to stay tuned for it alright make sure to hit the like subscribe if you guys like this kind of videos you know give me that thumbs up I really it's really hard because I will put several several hours into doing these videos and then only like 10 people watch them you know and that gets kind of discouraging so you know a thumbs up would be good guys you know let me know you like it leave a comment if you're new to the channel subscribe because we have way more cool shit coming down also we are doing a giveaway for the GoPro kind of camera y'all know what I'm talking about alright peace Thank you.